The Picote Smart Cutter System allows you to reinstate a lined branch in a sewer or a drain with ease. Simply choose the parts you need to custom make a cutter to meet your requirements. This video gives you complete step-by-step -step instructions. Always wear appropriate personal protective equipment. Gloves will be required for this assembly. Please consult the Smart Cutter Manual for any further information you may require. In order to select the most appropriate parts for the cutter, first check the diameter of the drain and the number and angle of bends using a CCTV camera. Remember to look for potential diameter changes in the drain. Now you are ready to select your parts. The main component of the cutter is the hub. Always choose the biggest possible hub that can fit inside the drain. Various sizes are available. Take into account possible diameter changes by choosing a hub that fits into the smallest part of the drain. If there are multiple or sharp bends in the drain, then simply select a shorter hub. Next choose side grinding panels that accurately fit the hub you have selected. These panels station the cutter correctly in the drain and grind away the lining to reinstate the branch. Now select the most suitable front drill head, two front panels and four fastening screws to fit your hub. This drill head and front panels are used to puncture the lined wall and penetrate the branch and should be removed on completion. Begin assembly with your preferred hub. Please note that the rotational direction is determined from the rear face of the hub. The cutter is usually rotated clockwise. The front face can be distinguished by four screw holes. Next fit the side grinding panels. Don't forget that the width of a side panel should be the same as the length of the hub. You will require two or four panels depending on the size of the hub. Mount one side panel at a time by inserting the metal wedge into the slots in the hub. Always push the panel fully into the slot. Repeat this procedure for the remaining side panels, ensuring that the red surface always faces the same rotational direction. When all four panels have been attached, double check that they are securely fixed. Next, mount the two front grinding panels. Place the panels one on top of the other so that the grinding surfaces face outward, making sure that the screw holes are aligned. Place your chosen drill head over the top of one panel, again making sure that the holes are aligned before inserting the screws through the drill head and front panels. Now line the screws up with the holes at the top of the hub and fasten. Use a hex key to make sure that the screws are fully tightened. Your custom made cutter is now ready to use. To connect the cutter to the power source, first select the correct length of flexible shaft for the hub, which should be equal to the length of the hub. 
Now push the flexible shaft inside the hub as far as it will go. Fasten the screws. Now check that the cable is firmly attached. Also check that the grinding surfaces of each side panel are facing the intended rotational direction. Wrap the side panels around the hub as shown. Place the cutter inside the drain. Switch on the cutter. To make sure that the cutter is positioned correctly, always use a separate CCTV camera in the drain to monitor the reinstatement. For the duration of the reinstatement, operate a vacuum cleaner in the drain to remove dust. Push the cutter with the flexible shaft into the branch. Holding the flexible shaft firmly, drill the branch open. Immediately stop drilling as soon as the cutter punctures the liner wall or you may risk damaging the opposite lined pipe. Switch the cutter on and carefully remove it from the drain. This slow rotational movement helps to pull the cutter out of the drain. Detach the front drill head and front panels. Attach the hub disc before reinserting the cutter into the drain. Remember to place the cutter so that the remaining edges are aligned centrally. You can now continue to grind the edges until they have been smoothed out. If the grinding process fails to remove all of the edges in the vertical ends of the horizontal pipe, a steering device must be added to the smart cutter. If necessary, steer the cutter upwards using a steering wire or steer it downwards with a counterweight. To attach the steering axle to the front of the hub, first remove the hub disc by unscrewing its fastenings. Now slot the steering axle inside the hub and cover with a hub disc which has a central hole. Insert and tighten all of the screws and then ensure that the steering axle has been tightly mounted. To install the steering wire, feed the wire through the hole in the steering axle and tighten it with a hex key. Neatly cut off the end of the wire, thread it through the weight and then tighten the screws.
the weight will naturally pull the cutter downwards, making the side panels grind the bottom edge of the branch. With the steering wire, the cutter can be guided upwards to allow fine tuning of the remaining upper edge. Holding both ends of the wire, create a loop and then lower it into the drain. Pull it through using the hook provided. Attach the wire to the steering axle and push the smart cutter into the branch. You will require assistance from a colleague to steer the cutter up and down during the grinding process. Most hubs have a thrust bearing at the bottom. The bearing stops the outer casing of the shaft from wearing out. Petroleum jelly has been applied on the bearing before use to allow smooth movement. As needed, reapply petroleum jelly on the thrust bearing as well as on the steering axle. Also, check the condition of the flexible shaft and outer casing regularly. If it shows signs of wear and tear, Cut off the worn parts if possible. The shaft has been soaked in oil before being housed in the casing. If needed, reapply paraffin oil between the casing and the shaft, manually rotating it for an even application. For consumables, discard parts when they show signs of wear and tear. This applies to the side grinding panels and the front panels. Keep the parts clean to maximise their lifespan. For further information, please consult your operating manual. Alternatively, for sales advice or support, please contact a member of our team who will be happy to assist you.